let's crochet our very last part, which is the tail. You're going to start this way different because it's not a circle. You'll be crocheting like you would a rectangle. So you're going to start by making a slip knot. I like to hold it here, grab it, twist, pull, like that. It should come undone when you tug it. Again, there are slower videos on this page where you can make a slip knot, insert your hook, and then pull. And you want it to be snug, but not too tight. You're gonna chain 16. So you know how we pulled through our yarn for the chain one of the magic ring? It's similar, we're just gonna do it 16 times. So we're gonna pull through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And that's called a chain and crochet. It's kind of the foundation of most crochet that's not a circle. So this is our first chain and this is our second. For row one, it says in the second chain from the hook, single crochet 15. So I'm going to insert through both, through both loops, and I'm going to make a single crochet. There's one. And we're going to continue that so we have 15. So in the next chain spot, there's two, here's a third. And you're going to do that till you have 15 and you have like a skinny rectangle or as I like to say, the perfect possum tail. If you need more information on this skill, there's a video called Crocheting Rectangles and Squares, which will talk more about chains and single crocheting into them. All right, and our very last one. There we got this rectangle. I'm going to fasten off, so I'm gonna leave a tail for sewing and pull through. And there you have your possum tail. Next video, we're gonna be assembling it all and finishing up the possum.